Dear internet, we've got a grievance and we're taken to YouTube to grieve about it. Is that what you'd say? To grieve about a grievance? We're going to complain. We're going to whine. It's wine time. So, on Black Friday 2020, <laughs> which was November the... 27th? Back end of November. I ordered some AirPods. <laughs> We've discussed this before. The AirPods came. The AirPods are one of the greatest like, purchases. Genuine Apple AirPods. Yeah. Um, legit one of the best things that I bought last year. I bought lots of good things last year. I still can't year. get my head around how expensive they are. They're worth it. Get some AirPods if you're not got married. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's by the by. We also ordered, separately, um, an iPhone 8? A refurbished iPhone 8. Because Lauren wanted one. Here's the thing. Hermes lost it. Long story short, they posted it out. Someone, we never got someone it. Someone nicked it. Let's be honest. Hermes lost it. Lost. So, um, it's just been, since that time, since maybe the start of December, it's just um, been chasing so up So keep in mind, this coming Friday, it will be eight weeks since Black Friday. And my AirPods turned up three days after I ordered them. Yeah. Three days. No problem. No problem. But anyway, we're still chasing up a refund from Aldi. And it is literally being um. passed from pillar to post, from person to person, and our case, I can almost remember our case number off the top of my head now. And I can't remember anything like that. But... It's just like the absolute bane of my life right now. Because Josh has to sort it all out because it was ordered in his name. So they won't deal with me. Even though I paid. Yeah. So it's me that needs the money back. But Josh is having to chase everything up. But anyway, I phoned, um, I phoned again today for maybe like the eighth time. It's to the point like it, you're phoning at least twice a week now. Tell you what, I phoned up the other day, <laughs> and I went, they, they start with, can I say your name? So I said, Josh. Uh, and they said, what's it about? So I said, I'm after a refund. They went, oh, is it Josh? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's how often we phone. Like, I mean, you can laugh, but feel like I'm really a celebrity. not funny anymore. She didn't even ask me any security questions, which I feel like I shouldn't admit, because I'll probably get someone fired, but... Doesn't matter. You don't know which call it was. Haha, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it could um, be any one of the thousands that we've made. <laughs> yeah, we've made plenty, so Aldi people you're safe. Um, uh, well, apart from those of you not issuing my refund. Yeah. So, <laughs> long story short, is we're still We've chasing... had about five different dates now as to when this refund's going to come through. And mm. now... Today was the latest date. Yeah, and now all they're saying is, oh, it's with a manager. We can see it's with a manager. You're in the queue. I'm like, I'm going to root in two to minute because you can scan quick enough, but you can't refund quick enough. So what's that about? And also... Like, I'm getting really angry now. Can we just discuss the fact that I hate the song? <laughs> it plays the same song every time he's on hold. I didn't mind it the first time I found out. <laughs> Start of a brand new day. Every day is not amazing when you're looking no, at that. No, it's every not day. when you're waiting for a refund. Every day is amazing. For, it's, I'm owed £200. £200! So, you yeah. know, we're not talking like a small amount that you'd expect from Aldi. Jump change. It's, it's a hefty amount of money of mine that they have got. <laughs> Hold that thought. The cat was sleeping on the radiator behind that chair there. He had his arms stuck out like it was just protruding there. Just stuck out, but as soon as I went to film, he decided that he wanted to jump down. So he jumped down and now he's now he's here. He too hot. Having ruined my shot. Good cutting. Anyway. So yeah. Displease Lauren <laughs> right now because I need the money back. Every day is not amazing. No, it's really not. Um so I think what we're gonna probably do is give it this week yeah like they've not had long enough i'm gonna call again <laughs> and then you're probably just gonna say are you still in the queue for the manager to refund it the thing is though it's all right because when i call now i know that when it gets to the first set of options it's option two and then the next set of options it's option three and then i just wait but anyway we're probably going to give it another week and then because we paid well you paid via paypal um but you can do like a resolution, there's like a resolution centre for PayPal um, where you can open a case. I think traditionally it's used for eBay, but I think you can use it for 
anything. Gonna find um, out. I hope you can use it for anything anyway. Where basically, like, they'll try and get your money back, and if Aldi don't respond, then I think, like, you get your money back, and then PayPal chase them up. So I think we're gonna have to go down that route, um, because, I'm sorry, eight weeks of having my money <laughs> is just not acceptable. What do you think? Let us know what you think. What do you think? So there you go. That's the internet based, not internet based grievance, the Aldi based grievance. Which like, we've got no issue with Aldi itself because we shop there most days. Because Aldi's cheap, what can you say? You can't knock the prices. But when it comes to this, and when it comes to refund, that's not very good. Not a good show. Anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And with that being said, we're going to get going. So, we will see you guys next time.